not listening. Sorry, Bradford. Don't know where we are now. I didn't mean to get lost, but, well, I really do not like fireworks. They weren't fireworks. I've been trying to tell you. Those bangs were fog detonators to warn you about signals in the fog. Oh. Oh, indeed. Now we're lost in the fog in the middle of nowhere. But what do we do now? Nothing we can do, boyo. Except sit here and wait for the fog to lift. Huh? <clears throat> uh, sorry. Oh, uh, fog hasn't lifted. No, it hasn't. And now it's dark, too. <sighs> what, what, what was that? Fireworks? I thought you said they were detonators. Not on the tracks. Up there, in the sky. No, no, don't want to look. Make them go away. See, Samson, they're not scary. In fact, they look beautiful. Lovely colours and that. Oh, look at that one. Oh, uh, suppose it is quite pretty. And not just pretty, my lad. Useful, too. Useful? That must be the Earl's firework display. If we follow the fireworks to the castle, then we'll know where we are and we can find our way home. Okay, but, but I don't want to get too close to those fireworks. Of course not, but we can't stay here all night. Step to it now, follow those whizzes and bangs! <laughs> It's working, Samson! The fireworks are helping us find our way! Ooh, look, Bradford! Look! It's the castle! We're here! So what do you think of the fireworks then, Samson? Oh, well, they're not so bad after all. And most helpful! Ooh. But I do wish they weren't so loud. Well done, Samson. Section 38 of the Railway Boot Book says engines who face their fears are very, very... Huh? a good idea. How can you see where you're going when you back out, eh? I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stay here forever and ever. I know change can be hard, Gordon. Almost everything in my life has changed. I'm in a new country, on a new railway, trying to make new friends. And all my old friends are much farther away than Henry and Edward are going to be. And you know something else. What? My old friends are still my friends. Good morning, everybody! Morning, Nia! Good morning! Rise and shine! Good morning, everyone! Who is going to pull the express today? Henry again? Or maybe someone else would like a turn? I shall pull the express 
I am the express engine. Wait, Gordon! Stop! What? <laughs> if you don't wait for the turntable to line up, you will fall off the tracks. Okay, you can go now. Thank you, Nia. I'm sorry about being rude to you yesterday, and that you don't get to see your old friends anymore. Thank you, Gordon. I'm happy to be friends, if you are. So am I. And I hope we will both be friends with the other new engine, too. <gasps> other new engine? What other new engine? We don't know yet. But now that Henry's... Oh, not... <laughs> I was. <laughs> Maybe you should introduce yourself first, Rajiv. <laughs> ah, yes. Silly me. I'm Rajiv, the Royal Engine. The pleasure is all yours. <gasps> no, Jean. Just because you have a crown doesn't mean you're royal. Our railway is also the most glamorous. And the most hardworking. <laughs> you soon get used to working here, Thomas. It's not so different to the railway on Sodor, you know. <gasps> wow! We don't have those in the shunting yards on Sodor. <laughs> oh, elephants used to be everywhere and can still be seen in some places in India. There was a time when elephants used to work in the shunting yards. They used to help shunt the cars when the engines were busy. Elephants can't shunt cars? <laughs> yes, they can. Some elephants are stronger than engines, Thomas. Oh, was that an elephant? No, just me bringing you your cars. to deliver my cars, I saw many more new things. Amazing palaces and monuments, very high bridges, and even animals traveling on top of trains. Oh! Ashima! Why have you stopped? I'm waiting for her to wake up. Why don't you blow your whistle to make her move? That's what Sir Topham Hatt would tell us to do. <laughs> but, Thomas, cows are very special to many people in India. And if a cow wants to sleep, well, we let it sleep. Oh, okay, Shima. I'll let her sleep, too. See you later. I couldn't believe it. Elephants, goats, chickens, cows. It felt to me like the animals were in charge of the railway in India. I didn't think that could ever happen on Sodor. Thomas, the tank engine. You've come in on the wrong platform. Ah. You're causing confusion and delay. Watch where you're going. A silly lot of engines. I I S S. Oh, kissing! I get it. Hey, Thomas! I just wanted to say. Thanks for sticking up for me down at the docks. <laughs> did, did, did I stick up for you? <laughs> I don't think so. But that's not what happened. What? But 
Hi. Look at Rosie, everyone. <laughs> she thinks something happened when it didn't. <laughs> Silly Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, that's not very nice. Thomas! Ah. I need you to go to Ulstead Castle and collect some very important passengers. You're to take them to Vickerstown, where you'll meet Rosie. What? <laughs> Rosie? No, I, I don't want to disappoint you, sir. That's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie, <gasps> it's very important that you take those cars to Vickerstown, where you'll meet Thomas. Thomas? No! I mean, I'll get right on it, sir. Mother! Yes, dear? Oh, uh, can I drop you off? I need to finish planning my Valentine's Day surprise. <laughs> of course, dear. Come on! Come on! What's the hurry, Rosie? I don't want to bump into Thomas. He was so rude to me this morning. Thomas was rude to you? That is odd. I thought he really liked you. <gasps> hey, wait! Hello, slow little tank engine. You'll be pleased to know Rosie is coming along right behind me. <laughs> Rosie? Thomas, what are you doing? Sir Topham Hatt is waiting for us in Vickerstown. I don't want to see Rosie. gotten into you, Thomas. First you were rude to Rosie, and now you're avoiding her. Oh, Thomas, 